Earlier today, we did a video on a really underrated pair of Air Maxes, the Air Max 96. And you'll recall that there's actually two different versions of the Air Max 96. The first version over here, and then the second version with the big swoosh up top. Check out the first version, you'll see that there's a very minimal swoosh on the back heel compared to the big branding swoosh on the Air Max 96 II up top. Actually, they're both just called Air Maxes. It's really in the retro era that they've been given the title Air Max 96, and nobody's actually officially called this the Air Max 96 II, but that's exactly what it is. I did a video earlier on comparing an Air 180 and an Air Max 93 to Charles Barkley's basketball shoes in 92 and 93. And I wanna do the same thing with these 1996 runners, except this time with Scottie Pippen. Because back in the day, and even still to this day, oftentimes basketball shoes would mimic the new Nike technology in running shoes. We just found out that the Kobe 9, for example, is gonna be made of Flyknit. And Flyknit in 2012 was a big running innovation. So here we are, fast forward a couple years, and in 2014, it's gonna be Flyknit on basketball shoes. Let's go back to 96. 96 was a year of big air in shoes. Not quite the full visible air that we'll get in 1997, but in 1996 we had air up in the front, just like the 95, but more air in the heel than the 95. You'll see that it starts to wrap all the way around back here. And this was really the predecessor to full air in the Air Max 97. Let's look at some basketball shoes from 1996, Scottie Pippins to be exact, and we're gonna look at Air More Tempos. This shoe is amazing, and I've got a vintage pair over here that we're gonna have a look at first. Wow, this shoe came out in 1996. Come on close and have a look at it. I really don't wanna move this shoe around too much because it's vintage, and I don't want it to fall apart. You can see that the air bubbles down here are foggy, and that tends to happen to older shoes with air bubbles. So Scottie Pippen was wearing this shoe in 1996, the same year that Michael Jordan was wearing the 11s, and the same year that the Chicago Bulls went 72-10, and 10, which is the all-time record for the greatest NBA season. Let's put this shoe down, grab the other one, and what I want to do is compare the air on the Air More Tempos to the air on the Air Max 96s. There's actually even more air in the Air More Tempo than there is in the Air Max 96 runners. And I think the really cool thing about the air in this shoe, come on back here, I gotta show you this. Have a look at this shoe up close and look at how the letters extend down to the air. So look at the R and the R extends down to the air bubble. And then the I extends all the way down to the air bubble, and the best part is the A, which extends down here, but then look around the back. It wraps all the way around as one A turns into one R back here. Big air in this shoe. This shoe was $160 back in 1996, which was a lot of money. And I actually had a pair of these back in 96. I also had my first pair of Air Jordans, which was the Bread 11. The reason why I had these shoes for the first time in my life is I went away to college and my parents were giving me a few hundred dollars a month for living expenses. And for the first time ever, I had enough money to buy the coolest shoes. So of course I bought my first Jordans and then Scottie Pippen was another one of my favorite basketball players. So I had to get his shoes also. Come look one more time at the laces of this shoe up close. Have a look at these straps right here. I remember putting this shoe on at Foot Locker for the first time and these straps, which are like big rubber bands, grip the top of your foot and they make them so, so comfortable. Big innovations going on in 1996 with comfortable shoes. So these Air More Tempos have been retroed over time and I wanna put this pair over here and we're gonna have a look at some of these retros. The confusing thing that Nike has done as they've retroed this shoe is sometimes they call it an Air More Tempo, which is what it was called back in 96, and then sometimes they call it the Air More Up Tempo. And by the way, back in 96, there was also an Air Much Tempo, and on the Air Much Tempo, instead of having the full air going up here all the way to the front of the shoe, it just had a little air bubble in the back, sort of the poor man's version of the Air More Tempo. 
Let's have a look right here at a 2005 edition. My favorite of all these Air More tempos are the black and white, which is really the original color that Scottie Pippen wore back in the day. There's a pair of white and baby blue ones that were worn by Jawan Howard. We all know Jawan Howard from the Fab Five at Michigan. So this pair of 05s is gonna be in leather. Come have a look at the upper of this shoe. All leather, these shoes were all over the outlet stores for like $69.99 and believe it or not, they didn't even sell. Come on down and have a look at the box and you'll see that it's the Air More Tempo. And also interestingly, you'll see that the price dropped down to $120, which is a big jump down from the $160 that they were originally back in 96. I mean, come on guys, when do we ever see Nike drop the price of their shoes by 25%? So I wanna move this pair out of the way, the leather ones, and then I wanna have a look right here at two more pairs. First, we're gonna look at this pair of suede ones from 2010, beautiful. These are just like the original ones with this beautiful suede upper. I'm gonna rock this pair of shoes after this video, I swear I am. They're just so comfortable, even looking at them on top of the box, they look comfortable to me, and they remind me back in 96 when I first strapped them on. So here's the suede pair, much cooler than the leather pair, much more OG than the leather pair. And you'll notice that on the box here, they're calling this the Air More Up Tempo. Remember back over here, it was the Air More Tempo. It makes it really difficult for sneaker collectors and people that want to get into this hobby to learn about it when there are so many inconsistencies. Now the last pair that I want to break out right here is another pair of retros. I actually had a bunch of OGs of these shoes that I've already sold on eBay. Here they are, they're gonna be the Olympic edition. There's also a similar House of Hoops Olympic edition. That one only has 82 pairs. This one was released more to the masses in 2012, along with Charles Barkley's 180s and a whole bunch of other cool basketball shoes right as the Olympics were going on in London. So these are Scottie Pippen shoes from the Olympics in 1996. Pippen played on the 92 Dream Team in Barcelona and then also in 1996 in Atlanta. And this is the colorway that he rocked in the Atlanta games. And you'll look back here on the heel and you'll see number eight. Number eight was Scottie Pippen's Olympic jersey. We all know his number on the Bulls and at Central Arkansas where he went to college was 33. That number's been retired in both places. Scottie Pippen is one of the top 50 players in the NBA history, and his shoes are amazing. And it wasn't long after this lineup of Air More Tempos that actually Scottie Pippen had his own line of Air Pippen shoes. And that went from the one to the five. But my favorite are these, and I hope you enjoyed linking up the growing of the air on the Air Max 96 runner to the almost full air bubble on the Air More Tempos.